Hello and welcome everyone back to the road to rank one and you might notice I have a smile on my face because this guy he opens up with I track jungle he is streaming oh what a joy to play League of Legends look I'd rather have the stream sniper on my team than the enemy team like oh what is that so okay let's talk about the game itself but I picked Cassio in this game I thought I was versus Silas when I picked and you know Cassio versus Silas is a very good matchup Cassio versus Echo is also a very good matchup so I'm, I'm not like too upset about that um I will say Cassio is not very good versus Ezreal but it's pretty good against every other champ on the team so we're fine with that I mean in general Cassio obviously very good versus short range, but, um, you know, struggles versus, like, longer range champs. I, I will say that, like, Ezreal, it is annoying, but it, if it doesn't get fed, it's fine. It's really, like, it needs to be super fed uh, to do really well. Okay, so what are we scared of this game? I mean, early ganks from Jarvan could be a thing. We have a Graves. Um, of course, they have a Jarvan. We have Karma and they have Silas. So perhaps expecting that we will get ganked mid more than they do. Also, Kasu is quite immobile. Um, but I mean, Echo is a super easy lane. I think Echo mid kind of sucks unless you're versus a champ that has a lot of skill shots. I'm just going to cover this entrance in case he tries to ward it. Doesn't look like he will. He might cheese out Graves on the red. Okay, so we see Echo, um, so most likely they're leashing bot side then, so we're just going to have to care. Maybe a level 2 mid, it's pretty unlikely, not many people do red to mid these days, but it's a possibility. Um, so the main thing versus Echo, a lot of people struggle versus Champ, because if you don't punish the cooldowns, he just gets to farm for free. So basically, you just got to make sure that when his Q is on cooldown, he's not allowed to play the game, um, and that he is only allowed to see us with Q, essentially. So whenever his Q is down, you know, get very aggressive on those creeps. Also, generally, like, spam pushing Echo in isn't that useful. It's actually better to keep the wave in the middle because it gives you more opportunities to harass him. So here, I'll just go for a little bit of a chunk. Generally, you don't usually eat too much at level 2 as Kasu because it costs too much mana for the amount of damage it does. Um, but honestly, like, if he trades really heavily on me, I'm fine with that. So I have uh, TP and he has Ignite. So basically, what I just need to make sure is that I don't die, essentially. All I need to do is, like, play War of Attrition, try to stay high on HP. If I'm him, I would actually just, like, trade like a Psycho and try to set up for Jarvan gank. So Jarvan could 3 camp me from bot side, or he could come from top side. I'm just going to pop second potion, make sure I stay really healthy, because, again, I just don't want to die. Um, with 2 points E, though, if he does jump on me, I can just kill him, unless Jarvan's here, so okay garmin's here <laughs> as they do what is this path he did red red what the f what did he do he has three he has both buffs and three camps i actually don't know what he did he must have done like red blue romp or something or red yeah i don't know anyway that's a really weird path um so we do have to be kind of careful, I think, as long as I play safe on this wave, I should be fine, but remember that I don't have flash, so it's kind of unfortunate because I probably won't get the better burst base, but um, such as the, the price of getting ganked very early in the game. I actually can't believe that. I want to check the replay and see what exact path he did, because that is ab absolutely wild. So just respect Echo W here. Um, I really, really hope I don't get dived by Jarvan. That would be absolutely disastrous. Let's just pray that that does not happen. Yeah, it's really going to suck because he gets a free base here. I need to make sure I get my W just so I can't be dived. I don't think he'll go for it though. Oh, bot lane is kind of in a rough spot, but it's fine. So Echo should actually be basing here because normally you have to base first when you're playing against someone with TP. It does suck for me though that he's going to get a free first base because like, you know, this is a very winning matchup. So I should be like winning really hard. I wonder if he'd ever roam bot like an absolute psycho. Okay, good for us. So I'm just going to shove this in. I actually am going to get the better first base. I'm also going to save my TP. So yeah, that's really, really good. If he's smart, he should probably freeze this wave. Um, I'm actually going to save both my wards here. What's, what's he doing? Is he not... Are you waiting in base or something? Okay, he was waiting in base. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll talk about the ward thing in a sec. Let me just get some items. So we're going to go tier this. Uh, I think we have to get a pink here because without flash, I'm going to be too vulnerable. It looks like I am going to have to use TP though because the wave's going to be lost otherwise. Um, so I didn't get to take advantage of Echo's really weak early game because of that gank. But obviously, like, Jarvan investing into a gank means that my Graves gets to get ahead. So that's kind of good. I really do need to get some vision down, especially while I don't have flash. Um, I don't think this is that allowed. Maybe? Yeah, it was a decent enough trade, I guess, for both sides. I do need to be careful. If I get caught by another one of those, he could probably kill me. So I'm just going to pink this bush. Um, I don't think I can get my yellows down at all right now because there's just no way to get into the river. Um, again, I do have to be a bit careful because he's itemized for a very heavy early game, whereas I've got a tier, so obviously I'm down combat stats. I think I'm just going to go ahead and place a ward in the lane. That's because right now I can't get priority, so he's just able to roam for free. So the very least we can do is just track where he's going to go, but... 
I uh, can't understand enough how annoying it was to get Jarvan ganked so early because you really should just absolutely destroy Cassio or destroy Echo's Cassio. Um, but yeah, he got kind of a free pass through the lane. Now I'm going to be really careful here. I think Jarvan gank from topside is really, really likely. Uh, I am six though. I mean, I can maybe play for the 1v2. I have Graves next to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to bait something. So Jarvan's probably in this bush. Or like pretty good chance, I think. But if I can maybe bait something here... I can always W this guy and make it unable for him to ult. Okay, I'm going to have to give this cannon, I think. Okay, I actually got it. That's a long cooldown use. It's like 22, I think, or something pretty long anyway. I've got Vision Bot side, so now that Graves leaves me on top side, I'm just going to hug back to bot. I'm getting a really good chunk with my Q here. Q is actually really efficient as well. Okay, so Java shows top. That's good. And will that guy roam? I mean, it's possible. It's definitely possible. I feel like it's kind of unlikely, but we'll see. So I can go that bot side honey for it, I think, unless someone took it. Did someone take it? Maybe I'll just reset then? Yeah, I think I just match reset. I didn't see. I guess the honey fruit disappeared. I don't know. So I could probably reset or he's ganking top, but I don't think he will. I'm going to wait a little bit just to get a bit more mana. Or do I go refillable? No, I think the mana crystal is better than refillable. Um, this game, I will go for Leandris. So I think Leandris is, in general, better than Rod of Ages on Cassio, unless you're versus comp that... Uh, what the hell? Let's support Silas top. Hmm. Unless you're a Versa comp that really needs to burst you, and I don't think this is one of them. Like, I mean, hmm, maybe it is. I mean, they have decent bursts with Silas and Echo, but the rest of the champs are champs that you want Leandri's verse. So I think I'll stick to Leandri's, but there's maybe an argument for it. Now, this guy might gank me mid from top side, but I do have people on my bot side, but we are doing drag. So I think I need to chill here. I've got to be really careful of this top side gank. Uh, this will be annoying because Echo can enter the river and then I can't really stop him from contesting drag. Maybe I can try and pull the wave and that might make him stay. Yes, this is good. Um, it also makes me safe from ganks, so we'll just keep it close to the tower for now. We are getting drag, so it's not like we trade for nothing, but my top lane of Nivea is kind of getting... Wow, that actually hit me. Top lane of Nivea is kind of getting a bit blown up. Um, also, because this guy has Ignite, like, we should be able to get ahead of him in the mid game for sure, even if we don't get ahead in lane. Because uh, Katsu destroys Echo pretty much the entire game, not just in lane. Okay, big kills on bot side. I'm going to come place a ward here. It's possible that Jarvan just trades for Herald, which wouldn't be unexpected at all, especially because their top side is just a lot stronger. He's freezing the wave. I like that. Um, and he just makes sure I'm paying a lot of attention to what Graves is doing. While Graves can help me, um, then I'm fine to contest. But if he can't, then I need to be really careful. I should be fine, though. He knows that Jarvan can gank. So I'm just going to W this. Got to be careful because it's a long cooldown. Silas is mid. See him on the ward. And I'll just back away for a bit. So, yeah, I'm kind of chilling. Again, like, I don't know. I'd really like to be further ahead. But this is the cost of playing with farming jungler and laning support. Is that you're naturally going to get a lot less help mid. And so the way you play around that is you just got to make sure you don't die pretty much. Now, he might have used W and Fog. Okay, he didn't. I'm losing all my wards though. So for now, I just need to make sure I play really safe and don't give them the window. Um, I'm going to wait for Silas to move away a bit before I start to get aggressive again. Even with Karma here, I don't feel that confident because we don't win the 2v2. I honestly think she should probably just go back bot. I think it's kind of a waste of time to be here. Maybe if I can bait them. They should be on Herald, and I don't see any way we can contest. Um, you know, given that they are just a lot stronger topside. Yep, that's pretty much what happened. Silas still hasn't shown bot. Uh, I'd be a little surprised if he's still below me. Okay, good trade there. Jarvan is above this guy, but Graves is near, so we could maybe look. I'll see if I can bait something here. Okay, doesn't look like it. Be nice to get some more vision down. I have TP soon. So clear all this. Silas is still in here, then I'll be so angry. Okay, he's not. Silas shows back bot. Um, we see three top side. Okay, this is all looking good. So I know I'm super, super safe on bot side. So what I might do here is because they all showed top, I'm actually going to push this and then look to roam bot because that means that I know their jungler basically cannot counter gank bot play. And it looks like on the minimap the bot's trading. Okay, well, bot's just killing them. So, hmm. Here I have choices. I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to hover here. I'm just going to stay with Graves for a bit. Oh. Okay. Should be able to get a kill here, I think. Oh, wow. He went around. Maybe we just wait here? Oh, wow. Okay. That's really unfortunate. Uh, he might guard us, but we can definitely kill him, I think, if he does. He's not that strong. Well, that's annoying. 
Ekra's gonna get a free base of that, but yeah, I'm a little surprised he didn't get anything there. That's okay though. Um, ultimately, like Bob's in a really good spot, so we'll just shove this for now. I'll probably look for a base here pretty soon. If I can, I want to try to save my TP because that'll allow me to counter gank anything bot. Um, and also just like makes up for if you make like a bad play and you die or something, or you have bad tempo. TP allows you to fix a lot of bad situations essentially. So we're in a really good spot, 100 CS, 10 minutes. Could I counter gank top? Probably not. I don't think it's worth it. Like he doesn't have a shutdown. And it would put me on the... It would make my bot lane weak side, which is not really something I want. So, let's, yeah, I think I go that. I was thinking about going Dark Seal instead, but we'll just stick with that. Oh my god. Got absolutely nuked. So I can TP counter gank this. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. So Ezra will just eat in. I think we can look to clean up. I think Twitch is maybe going the wrong way, but we'll see if we can clean it. I just try to ult this Ezreal for the slow. Nice, we hit the E. Actually, I just realized we don't even need to hit the Q because we have the Twitch poison. Uh, okay, so Echo is staying mid. This is kind of good for him. I mean, he gets a couple plates, but we also managed to kill the ADC, which means we should get plates bot. I'm going to repink the river. And yeah, I'll make sure that he can't get any more plates here, especially because they have Herald. Like, you don't want to give up too many plates when they have Herald because if you lose the mid tower, well, normally you lose the game, like, kind of not too long after. Oh, I have to flash this. Okay, so he used ult and ignite. I did have to flash there, so I walked up a bit too far. And that's kind of really bad, because Jarvan can easily punish a no-flash Cassio. Um, and also, he's probably going to get another plate here, so this could be very problematic. I'm not sure what the pings are about. Oh, no ghost. Okay, so we're just going to... No, no one has ghosts there. That was uh, Nivy. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what the pings are about. Um, I still think I win. Like, the only reason I really lost that was because I didn't have ult. If I have ult, obviously, I come out on top pretty hard. Um, so, yeah, we, we should be in a fine position still, as long as I'm careful while I don't have flash. Now, I might start pathing up here. I don't think Darius can 1v2. Might be able to 1v1. Just going to come here. I think I have a bit of time before we go back mid. Um, okay. I don't actually think I can stay here anymore, so I have to go back mid. If I overstay this too much, we're gonna lose mid, and Jarvan's gonna try dive me here. So I've gotta be very, very cautious. Jarvan will be below me. So I'm gonna hug heavily to top side. He's either diving mid or bot. Okay, he's diving mid. Okay, they killed Darius. This is fine, I made sure to hug the bot side so that I didn't get killed there. Now I have Graves, I could... Okay, see Jarvan. I was gonna say I could maybe bait something, but they moved away. And we didn't lose our bot tower, I mean our mid tower, so... Ultimately, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, I really want to fight this guy. Like, I'm much, much stronger. I don't want to let him get too many creeps here. Not much I can do to deny him, but... We'll try. Okay, I mean, we should be in, a like, a really, really good spot, given that, like, we have kind of, like, the the better scaling. At least, I think we have the better scaling. Um, I'm behind this Twitch. Like, right, there's a lot of damage. These are six skills. Um, I might have to support Graves here, so I want to go to my midway, but given that he's doing this on a pink, which is really, really crazy. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't think we could do that. It's a bit too far in. I have the Andres in base after this wave, so I probably want to buy that. I think it's pretty big. So we'll clear this. Uh, Silas is here. I think this is not allowed. Hmm, they have Castle, so I have to dodge this. What? How on earth did that stun me? Okay, well, we should be able to kill Silas here. I cannot believe that stunned me. Did it, like, what the f- That was completely- That was just uncalled for. Okay, so I'm just going to instantly base. Um, base with a five second delay. It took a little while to think about it. Uh, and get my Leandri, so that way I can be back on the map and really strong. Don't know how Anivia is suddenly beating Darius, but you're good for you. Fucking go off. I'm going to go bot side here. Uh, there's a dude in here. Karma should probably just walk to him. Echo is buying a lot of time, but like also he's buying time for himself not to farm too, so it's not as good as you'd think. Ooh. I think that Darius is going to execute. I have to go bot here just to make sure this wave gets cleaned up. Oh no, she's just going to die, isn't she? Oh nice, okay. Fuck yeah. We actually lost first tower bot, which was kind of surprising, so I think the macro definitely messed up somewhere, but honestly I don't think the Ezreal is ever going to be too much of an issue, so probably fine. Uh, I can definitely 1v1 this guy if he ever ease in. Oh my god. He does do a bit of damage though, he's got a Triforce. If I could bait him to stay here, maybe we could get a kill with Twitch, but I think hmm, someone has to stay mid. We do not want to lose this mid tower. Mid tower is very important. I think mid tier 1, definitely the most important tower. 
So keep shoving this. I uh, don't have ult, so if Ezreal were played it really well and dodged everything, maybe he'd kill me, but I don't think it's worth respecting. We'll just clear this. Now, I don't feel safe hitting the tower, so I might come do some camps. Like, normally taking camps from a Graves is kind of troll, but he's on top side. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to cover mid, so Twitch is resetting. Ooh, okay, Twitch got his thing cancelled. This should be warded, I would expect. Um, but if it's not, I mean, we'll see what they do, basically. Okay, it's not warded. Okay, looking here. Got a really nice flank there, and that should just be a dead Ezreal. So I could basically, there what I did was, like, I could just tell based on, like, how they moved that it, it wasn't warded, right? And if it were warded, they would have, like, turned to me earlier. Um, and I was just, like, playing around that, essentially. Oh my god, he looked for the ult, but he couldn't because he was W. would summon a base and go bot here. Should be fine to hold. Oh, I got cancelled by some shit. Uh, I don't think I can TP to it because I actually think I'll probably die. So we'll go Wildeye's components next. I think I TP to this, though. I don't want to give him the second tower gold, so I'm just going to do these. He actually might just go for it. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's actually really smart. Okay, never mind. He should have just committed with the tower. Like, walking forward to dodge all my spells and then just committing to killing the tower, that would have been the best play, I think. Would have been really good. You get so much gold for this. You get 600 gold, but we managed to keep it alive for now. So what we'll do is we'll just push out bot as far as we're capable of. I don't think anyone can really be bot, so we should just be fine to shove for free. I mean... Who can be here? No one, I think. I mean, maybe Echo runs bot out of base, but I think we still have time to do one wave. Okay, Echo's top. Uh, could we stay on the map? Because if we can, like, we kind of want to stay on the map. Because basing with only 700 gold feels kind of bad. But we also don't have a lot of health. So, yeah. It's a bit greedy to stay. I think I'm going to, though. Um, at least for one more wave. If I can get the tower to be really big, because then I'd be able to get my Rylize. I can, I can definitely 1v1 Jarvan. Like, I don't think he can one-shot me. And if he can't one-shot me, I... I will DPS him down. So I think I can get this. This is quite greedy, though. Got to pay a lot of attention. Okay, he EQ'd away, actually. So we're going to get this tower, and that means I should get Rylize before the next drag. Um, pretty sure I beat this guy. Oh. He doesn't have ult, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No flash ghost Darius. So that means he's useless in the next fight. Uh, I get sniped by Ezreal. I'm just going to move a bit. I think he threw a bot, right? Probably. Uh, so we got the Rylice. We're going to be really, really strong on this dragon timing. So, of course, all the dragons and solo queues should probably be contested. So we'll just make sure we run to there. And they're getting engaged on mid. I don't have... Or I don't have TP, I mean. Nice dodge on that. Oh, my God. This guy's a bit of a weapon. Okay, so that was Jarvan ult. So that means I'm really safe in the fight. I do not have ult, so I need to play around that a little bit. But I... Honestly, don't think there's really anything to be scared of. Maybe Echo W? That's probably the... Oh. Okay, so... This is not that easy to walk into, because they have, like, full control. Yeah, it's, it's quite hard to contest. So... Normally in this situation, you just trade on the other side of the map. Like, if you don't have vision and you can't face check, you might as well just trade. Uh, and I think, like, we don't care that much about this dragon, so we just push mid, push top, take all the camps that we can, and then ultimately, like, it might actually be in our favor. The thing to remember is, like... The dragons themselves still kind of suck. Like, individually, the dragons are not very good. But it's the soul that's broken, right? So if you can trade an individual drag for a ton of gold on the other side of the map, a lot of the time, that's, like, really worth it. And so, like, here, where I get a scuttle crab, I'm going to get a top tower, I'm going to, like, deny a bunch of top waves. Like, we definitely come out ahead in terms of gold. It's just now we have to, like, be a little careful with the soul win condition. Which... I don't know, in solo queue, soul is pretty good, you know, it's a, it's a very consistent and very easy uh, win condition to play around. I'm not actually going to get the top tower, which is a little sad. So I just need to make sure I don't get um, W'd from Fog. I mean, it's pretty hard, I think, for him to ever catch me, but who knows, he might be able to, if he sneaks one in. Yeah, very hard to get this tower because it takes Echo not much at all to clear my wave. So normally that would mean you come get vision in here. I don't know why I have a blue trinket. I should still have yellow and I should be getting vision in their jungle. I guess I just, like, autopiloted and swapped. Well, this is inting. Oh my god, and that is, like, super inting. What is that? <laughs> wow, okay, so care W here. Alright, so I think I just run straight back top, or are they still fighting? Wow, what a psycho. I swear that's not worth it, by the way. So, like, you can, you can invest flash to kill a carry like that, right? But unless it gets you an objective or a shutdown, it's kind of pointless. Like, there's no shutdown on Twitch, and by killing Twitch, you didn't get any objective, so, you know, it's kind of just, like, super random. Holy shit, that guy does a lot of damage. 
Um, anyway, I'm going back top basically because I don't want to share gold and XP on the mid wave. And in the meantime, I just want to try to trade this top tower. Ooh, okay, so Graven actually died. That's a pretty big shutdown. I went to Silas though, which I think is fine. Um, I could actually build magic resist this game. They do have two fed AP assassins. Oh, I wonder, are they going to try Baron? Nah, probably not. They don't have the DPS. Twitch can hold this. Can I keep pushing top? I don't see Jarvan or Darius. I think I just reset here. I can't build MR yet because I gotta go my tier, but I will think about going MR soonish. I could TP behind. Yep, I'm gonna TP. So these guys should be dead. Okay, well, actually, I'm not needed. Can I get slow? <laughs> okay, well, I got an assist. <laughs> okay, so we probably could look at Baron. Like, they're, they're pretty weak, right? They're two strong members are dead. I'd be down for it. I think we should do it. Like, generally, if you get a couple picks post-20, you just start it. And, and we have such good DPS. I think Twitch should just come eat these, and then we just do it. Especially because Darius is probably bot. Okay, and he just used his combo. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't think there's any way. Like, maybe they could steal it. Like, 1% chance. Someone needs to tank this. Whoever's tanking Baron deals, like, 50% reduced damage to Baron, I think it is. So, normally it's better if Karma tanks it. So that the rest of us can DPS it quicker. But, you know, oh well. Um, could look at Silas here. Okay, no. So we got Baron. Um, I don't quite have tier gold, but I don't know if I want to stay on the map. So problem is if I stay, then it's going to be an awkward time to reset later on. Wow. Yeah, she got out. Okay, this is like pretty good fight still, I think. I have flash. Okay, I don't need it. Just going to slow him first before queuing. So I just hit him with the regular E for the Rylai's slow. Oh, wow. I actually got him. Um, what do I do here? I mean, honestly, I just want to kill someone so I can get my um, Archangel's gold. I guess I could go top wave. Probably safe to go top wave. No. Oof. Holy shit, he's going off. Okay, well, not too bad. Shutdown goes to Darius, but doesn't matter. Darius is useless. So I'll shove out top. Um, normally, again, like you want to sync your tempo with your team and stuff, especially with Baron, but because my team's all dead, I can actually stay on the map and be a bit greedier. So I'm going to come shove out another wave. And then I'll just look to reset after, and that'll probably be about the same time that Twitch is alive, and then we can just play to contest drag and everything like that. So, keep pushing top for now. Should be all good. Okay, this. Don't think anyone can be here. It could only be Darius, but I'm pretty sure he based. So, I'll reset. I just saw Nivea steal my blue on the mini map. It's a bit annoying. Um, we're so, so strong now. I actually think fourth item i could probably go spear of visage and i'd be ag actually unkillable so I'm, i'll think about that it's actually quite good on cassio alternatively i can just go banshees or something um i am around here these guys i think are really inting yeah no this is like unheard of levels of int okay <laughs> whatever <laughs> i don't know okay playing for drag we found a jarvan uh, can we chase him? I don't think so. Maybe I just base and answer the top wave. Actually, nivia has got it covered. Oh, actually went in on that. I tried peel him, but okay. Jarvan actually does a lot of damage. But we should get the drag here. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty free. So DPS is down. Actually, I think I'm going to go mid wave. So Graves clearly has this, like no one can get it. And maybe I can keep the mid tower if I come this way. If Karma comes from above, we can definitely kill this guy. Well, Karma, where are you going? Well, he's going to get this tier 2 tower, but I think he's just dead for it. Yeah, he looks so dead. Okay, nice. I actually got that kill too. Big. So, just shut out the mid wave. Unfortunately, we wasted our Baron. Or we didn't really... Well, we did waste it. But we wasted it by people dying. It wasn't really like that we didn't. No, it was like we couldn't use it, basically. Because everyone was dead. We didn't even get the chance to, to try use it. So, I have Flash here. I have TP soon. I'm extremely, extremely strong. You can see I'm miles ahead of Echo, despite the relatively poor early game, which is, like, really, really good because, like, again, I'm kind of... Even though it's a winning matchup, I'm sort of expecting to fall behind if they have ganking jungler and ganking support, and I have, like, laning support and farming jungler, right? And so, that that's partly because I have a good matchup, right? Like, naturally, that just makes it a bit easier to play the game out. Ooh. I get the slow on him. Nice dodge. Okay, so I can just kite this out. Maybe they're sending people to me, though. So I might just have to run. I mean, I can walk the graves. I have ult as well. Okay. It's a bit unfortunate. Thought I would have been able to get a kill, but... Ooh. I mean, I win this. So just kill this guy first. Nice. This guy's probably next. Thanks for the shield. Alright, nice. 
So probably could have played that a tiny bit better. I'd have to go back and look, but I feel like I either wasted my W or I used it badly. But um, I think everything else was pretty good. I, even if I died there, well, actually, it would have been a pretty bad death. If it goes to Jarvan, it doesn't really matter. But if it goes to Echo, it's pretty bad. Now, I could just go Rabbitons. But I honestly think that I probably just need to build some Magic Resist. And, and I, I genuinely think the best way to do that right now is to build a Spirit Visage. So I don't... I do this maybe like one in every... I don't know, like 30 cast your games. Definitely don't do it very often. But in a game where like the only threats to you are AP and like you, obviously you've got all your self healing with your E, it can be really, really good. Um, so I do like it. I don't really like tank items on Cassian that much. Like I, I kind of don't like Gargoyle. I know a lot of people like that. I'm uh, just watching this for TP if I need to. There's no ward though. Yeah, the problem is there's no ward. I mean, I can TP to that wave coming soon. This guy actually has a lot of CS, he's kind of strong. So we'll push out top for now. Are they fighting? I think so. I have TP, so if a random fight starts, I'm, I'm fine with it. Like, you can see that I'm just, like, farming 10 CS PM on the sidelines and then looking to TP. Dude, there's no wards. Okay, I'm TP into this one. This is a really long flank, but I... Uh, I don't know, maybe it sucked. I kind of wanted to be at that fight, but the problem is, like, normally you ward the middle of mid to give TP flanks and just to tell what they're doing, basically. Guy seems like he is in the. Oh, I did not mean to hit that. She's gonna get altered, I think. I'm trying to, trying to wait for him to come back. Oh my god, this jump's so annoying. Okay, maybe I need to actually go void. So I might need to pivot my build here and just start building a void because they just got a lot of MR out of nowhere. Why is this game so hard, by the way? I guess, like, the Darius for push is, like, really big, and Silas seems to just keep killing people. I don't have Flash, so I need to be a bit careful here. I think Twitch needs to be careful, too. No one's showing bot. He should probably just come catch the red. Yeah, I can bait Ezreal into eating forward. No. Oh. Um, okay, well... Ooh. I used my W kind of badly, but... I think I hit him here. Nice. Okay, so that's it. Oh, I don't want to take the red. Almost stole it. So I think we should be able to do Baron off that. I mean, again, I don't see how they stop it. I mean, I guess they could stop it with Ezreal poke. They could maybe kill me right now, actually. Okay, Ezreal's bot. We should just do it. I can't believe Ezreal's showing bot with no TP. That's psychotic. I think he's trying to farm an item, too, so he's probably going to reset. We just need to do this. They shouldn't be able to contest. They might try, though. Um, I think we just kill them. I want someone else to tank. I don't really want to be low DPS. I'm also 15, so that's maybe a cooldown that's hard for us to fight without, but I'm just going to W them out of the pit. Okay, good. They killed... Oh, wait, that's Karma. I thought that was Twitch. I mean, we can still fight then. The karma death doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, Jarvan's above us. Just W him. Ooh, Twitch is dead. Oh, Graves should kill that guy, I think. I think I'm just going to reset. I have my Visage. I think I'm just going to complete it, but it does mean that I don't have Void. Now my builds are a bit awkward because I don't have Void and uh, I won't have Rabbit on. So I'm going to lack a lot of damage, but I am really, really tanky. And I mean, these two have no pen or no uh, percent pen. So I am pretty much unkillable. Now we can't give this dragon if we really need to. And we probably should because Twitch is dead. Yeah, it's only third drag, so it's not the end of the world. It feels pretty unnecessary, I think, though. Like, we really shouldn't be and the spot where we're giving drag, but okay, whatever. Let's just see what we can get done with this. So I'll have flash. I ARAM to win or lose. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, we can just ARAM. We, we should just be able to like five man down mid. It's probably safer as well versus Jarvan. Okay, so we're fighting on bot side. I can flank this, but I'm a bit scared. I mean, they're really overextended, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we kill everyone here. Okay, Darius no flash and Ezreal just eat in. So we should be able to just kill everything here. I'm going to go for the long flank. I think the carries are more important than anyone else. Just going to R this blindly. Looks like I got them both. Nice. Now, I don't have TP or I'd TP straight mid. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so I think I just run bot. Unless, can we end? No, I don't think so. So I think I just push in these bot waves as fast as I can. And maybe we can go for double end with this. I'm just going to ping them both. I actually don't know if we can though. Like, they'll be up. And Graves won't be here. Magi is based. Love that. Um, so normally you would take camps again here because there's nothing else really to do. But I think it's more important just to get these waves shoved in like as soon as possible. Um, does Sky have egg? 
He's buying a lot of time. Okay, nice. And they killed him. So I wonder if we can just end. I think we can. I mean, this was a very... I don't know. Like, I'm doing really well. But the game felt so close for some reason. Felt really, really hard. But anyway, we should be able to end here. I think they might do some last ditch effort. But I'll just flash ult them. <laughs> they got the egg. Uh, I guess we'll just ult this guy early. Just DPS him down. He has a lot of MR, so he actually takes forever to kill. Oh, I'm gonna get out of that. Okay, that guy's like one health. Keep chasing. Can't quite get the Rylai slow, but it looks like we end. So, okay. Honoring. Uh, oh, not the end of you. I think she did a uh, solid job for herself. Plus 29 puts us back on 990. Like I said, I've lost a few games recently. Damage, yeah, it was kind of a Twitch carry, but it was a good thing we made Echo pretty useless. Honor was, of course, from the top lane, and I honored as well. So, guys, if you did enjoy that video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.